Econolite. Moving traffic forward. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about camera calibration. We're in the device screen here, and we've just completed the camera setup, which is the zoom. Now, in the calibration screen, we'll click there, and we have a default box that comes up. We're going to place these lines down on the roadway such that the lines are all parallel. That's the key to calibration, is you're defining the 3D space for the system so it can know where every bit of the image is in 3D space. Now, I happen to have used Google Earth to uh, know that this little part of the curb here is about 80 feet back, but typically in the real world you use a measurement wheel, cone off um, some distance, you know, 80 feet is very typical, could be 60, could be 100. Um, you just want to make sure it's long enough that, that you're accurate in, in making sure that these are parallel. And so these lines on the side need to be parallel and the front and the back need to be parallel. You, you don't want them diverging. Now you'll notice that we have three lanes here. I need to use this add a lane feature and then we'll grab these and put them over along the lines and then you can define the widths and lengths of everything so that the system knows exactly what it is. Put 80 feet in here. This happens to be 14 feet here because it's got the extra width. And that's that's the flat ground, uh, basically parallel lines. Now in the upright direction we have these lines and I'll place them in line with a pole or something upright in the image. And you see how to adjust this so that it's uh, upright in the image for something on this side of the screen. You want one of these on the left and one of these on the right. If there's nothing in the image that is really upright, you could have a person stand on the sidewalk, stand up straight, do that. You could capture the side of a truck with a still image, use that. There's various ways to be able to do that. So there's a basic configuration uh, for calibration. And I'll hit apply changes and then we'll be done. Let's look at an intersection now that is curved as opposed to this nice straight one. Go back to the home here go to this other intersection. Now you notice we have curved lines here so it's not as easy to use the lanes up here at the stop bar uh, to lay down our calibration lines. The key is that you can calibrate anywhere in the field of view. It doesn't have to be the same place that you're going to end up placing your zones. Just want to have things parallel. Well you notice these lines on the stop bar are very nice in the sense that they show me what parallel lines are and if I just take them back a little ways uh, I will end up with some nice parallel lines and let's uh, place right about here and you notice to make those parallel I need to do that so that could we know these are all parallel in the real world and what I'll do is I'll place this along that line because I know that that right there is a lane width that's 12 feet and then the the other one is going to be a little bit less than two lane width so approximately I'm going to give that 20 feet here and then as far back you would typically put out a cone and measure that out that's about 80 feet but typically you would put a cone out and then don't forget your uprights and you notice how the, the way the camera is mounted on the right side of the screen it uh, the up and down in the field of view is uh, a bit more angled doesn't matter how long these lines are but that would be a, con a valid calibration for a curved approach you could also place the calibration zones back here along these straight lines where it's straight say put it in this area wheel off an area of a certain distance, make sure the lines front and back are parallel. So there's an example of doing calibration with uh, an intersection that does not have straight lines at the stop bar.